glass rain going sideways? There is a planet for that, and it is HD 189733B. And this planet is a very vibrant blue, kind of like my jacket. And we know it's blue because of a study done using the Hubble Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph. What they were doing was they were looking at the host star and the planet, and they were looking at all of the different colors across the visible light spectrum. And what they noticed was that when the planet went behind the star, the blue light really went down. And when the planet came back around, the blue light reappeared. And this didn't happen for the red or green wavelengths, which means that this planet is extremely blue. And it is most likely blue because in its atmosphere, it has a lot of silicate particles. And when these silicate particles would condense, they would scatter blue light more than red light or green light, which is why it would then be blue. And these silicate particles are where the glass comes from because glass, is silicate particles. And just like rain showers of when the water condenses and it gets heavy, it falls, the same thing is going to happen with the silicate particles, which is where you get the glass rain. The thing is, this is not going to be hardened glass rain. This is going to be molten glass rain because on the day side of the planet, it is too thousand degrees Fahrenheit. And I say day side because this planet is so close to its star that it orbits every 2.2 days. So because it's so close, it becomes tidally locked and only one side faces the star. And because of that, it gets incredibly hot. And so on the night side, it is 500 degrees less which honestly is still incredibly hot. So now this rain is molten glass. And like I said at the beginning, it is raining sideways. And this is because the wind speed on this planet is 5,400 miles per hour. That is just 5,400 miles per hour. So first of all, now you're getting pelted by molten glass and it is blowing at you sideways. But also I feel like that is fast enough that it's probably just gonna pick you right up and just bring you all the way to the other side of the planet, if not all the way back around. I mean, that's just not a fun time. You probably do not wanna visit this exoplanet. And the thing is, there are a lot of really interesting exoplanets and I love looking at them. And there's a lot of them that you may or may not want to visit once you hear about them. So would you guys be interested in me doing a mini series of basically doing little videos about each of these really interesting exoplanets? If you do, comment that on this video. Also, if you have any specific exoplanets you would love for me to talk about that you know about and you just wanna share with everyone else because they're just that cool, also comment those.